I can hear you just fine. I just hope you don't cause echo again. I anyway. So, here we are. Where the hell am I supposed to go again? Oh yeah, I need to wait till next day. I mean next night. I mean next day, fuck. Oh, sorry. I just woke up. Anyway, there it is. And as you can see, I I pretty much lowered the, the sound of the voice. In the hopes that the... Well, in the hopes that things change and becomes less uh, echoey. Either way. Uh, it's the time I'm recording this. Only two more days. May the glory of the princess and bring light to this world. This way. Pardon? Where the hell you want me to go? <laughs> that is not what I wanted to go. But yeah, I was just saying. <laughs> Only two more days and then this event is done. And in all of these guys, I'm still missing that one. Ugh, either way. Let me check the amount of characters I have. And I think I'm gonna go for sign off. At least that's what uh, the next character is gonna be. The next banner. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna go for sign off. I don't have any that many electric users. Compared with water ones. Uh, either way. Alright, here we go. We reached this place. Yes, it it is, the market. We finally made it to Caravan Reba. It's pretty lively here. Really? <laughs> I don't see barely anyone here. So just past this wall is the desert, huh? Yep. Oh wow. Paima remembers hearing people call this the Wall of Samiel. It's made to block sandstorms from the outside. Hmm. Oh, if it's this tall, it's gotta be the divine work of Greater Lord Ruka Devata, right? Yes, it is. It's amazing. Enough gawking. What the? Come on, follow me. What? <laughs> <laughs> you just came out of nowhere. Over here. Where? The lady's just looking at us. Oh, he's over that way. Let's hurry up and follow him. I, I see him. He's up to. You're pretty fast. Compared to other people I know. <laughs> anyway, what the fuck is going on? What happened? Is someone following me? Oh shit, it is. Fuck. What the? Where did she go? I'm surprised you missed me. Uh, how did we lose them? They were just here a second ago. I mean, there's barely anyone here. And the, the travel is very unique. Who are they working for this time? Uh, anyway, traveler, it seems like we were being followed again. Yes, you were too we were. careless. You should have noticed those hopeless amateurs trailing you a long time ago. There's no need to thank me. I've never cared to keep track of personal favors. Yeah, All I yeah. did was correct a mistake I happened to come across. It's a habit I developed at the Academia. Whatever you say, Mr. Tsundere. You get by on a scare, I'll hate them. We never thought we'd run into you here. I could just pop out of nowhere. Last time we met at Port Ormos, didn't you say you were going back to the Academia? <gasps> Wait, don't tell Paimon that you're here to take us back on their orders. <laughs> Come down, Paimon. Oh. So you've already <laughs> landed yourselves on the Academia's hit list. 
<laughs> I can't say that I didn't expect it. However, well, thank you, I guess. had I wished to turn you over to the Academia, don't you think you'd already be the Eremite's honored guests by now? Oh! Right. Um, you do have a point. <laughs> I have no interest in running errands for that project. As a scholar, I've always belonged to the camp that promotes researcher autonomy. <sighs> and these days, you're more fascinating than anything the sages can offer. Oh? Are you also falling for me? Well, get in line. I have a huge list. Hmm. Not quite. To tell you the truth, I'm still investigating the Divine Knowledge Capsule. Unfortunately, I've run into some difficulties. Oh? Everyone says the capsule originated in the desert and was eventually moved to Port Ormos. If I am to get to the bottom of this, I must understand how the capsule first came to be. Which hmm. brings me back to you, and why you're so interesting. The leader of Ainul Ahmar used the Divine Knowledge Capsule right in front of you. And upon seeing him, your expression became perplexed, and you were lost in thought for quite some time. To have Go that ahead. kind of reaction, I think you must have realized something. Are you interested at all in sharing what you've been hiding from me? Well... That must be yes. Oh, hey, Thum. You really have a ridiculous eye for detail. What kind of person even notices or remembers stuff like that? <laughs> Sorry. Not yet. Maybe if you could remove your t-shirt, then I'll think about it. <laughs> Sorry, I'm letting my lewd self come out. <laughs> so that's your answer. <laughs> well... I do work for the Academia, after all. So considering that, it is indeed wise to keep your cards close to your chest. But that does prove you do have some undisclosed information about the Divine Knowledge Capsule. Am I right? Not exactly, but stuff. <sighs> no matter. Rather than simply learning the answers from you, I'd still prefer to investigate on my own. Speaking of, you two are also headed to the desert? Also? That's right! We have the same plan as you! But we don't really have any concrete goals at the moment. Then I'd suggest starting with Aru Village. It's the largest settlement in the desert, so it'll probably have more resources and intel than anywhere else. Well, would you like to head there together? Sure, why not? It's always better to travel with someone you know. Let's go! Hooray! Know that? We are heading towards the desert. I mean, I already went through the hill during my little uh, trip. So, how about just head straight there? Oh, well, look at that. How convenient. Before us lies Aru Village, the safe haven of the desert folk. Whoa, this landscape is really something else. What a cool place! Let's go check it out! Sure, let's do it. Hello? <laughs> that scared me. Alright, What was that? Oh shit! Oh fuck! <gasps> Guys, it's a trailer! Trailer cutscene! It's 3D! Oh shit! What happened? What happened? <laughs> Unless my memory fails me, we have barely spoken two words to each other before now at the Academia. 
Would you care to enlighten me as to when and how I invited the General Mahamatra's wrath? Oh, Haytham. Do not think you can escape my judgment just because you managed to escape my attack. <laughs> so scary. Judgment? So that's how you'd characterize your actions here, is it? Or would elimination perhaps be a more accurate description? Had I used my full strength, not even this traveler would have been able to stop me. Yeah, right. Bring it. Though styled like an assassination, I sought only to ensure that my target would be unable to flee or resist. Standard practice for the Matra, as well you know. Seemed to me more like your own personal touch. Uh, who, who is that, Al Haytham? Did you call him General Mahamatra? Yes. General Mahamatra Sino, head of all the Matra at the Academia. He's a formidable hunter, and the ultimate nightmare for any who have committed academic crimes. You he me? seemed to have placed a lot of trust in Al Haytham, to the point of blocking an attack for him. If I were you, I'd never choose to side with him. I wouldn't believe a single word that comes out of his mouth. Dude, you're just... You just uh, sneak attack us. Right now you're less trustworthy. Well, fuck that. Both of you, except you are cheerless, so I trust you more. <laughs> I have been pursuing this scribe for a long time. I urge you, stand back and do not seek to defend him any longer. Otherwise, there will be consequences. think he's as bad as you've made him out to be. I won't waste my breath explaining things. Ah, oh, Haytham. I saw it during our fight. Take it out. The divine knowledge capsule you're hiding on your person. Unless you want me to retrieve it for myself. Hmm. <laughs> Very perceptive of you. Nothing escapes a mantra's senses. Of course. So that's a reason. There she is. Wait, the Divine Knowledge Capsule? Didn't it fall into the Matra's hands in Port Ormos? Nope. No wonder you speak with such confidence, Sino. But I must admit, I'm very curious. What does this capsule mean to you? And why, as General Mahamatra of the Academia, are you all alone in the desert? As far as I'm aware, the other Matra have been speculating about your disappearance. What? Have you been given a mission that's, let's say, morally dubious? Oh my. If I was the real target of your mission, what was stopping you from simply using your authority and resources to judge me within the walls of the academia? <sighs> I oh, should have known you'd be difficult to deal with. <laughs> <laughs> what should we do, traveler? Paimon feels like we can't trust either of them. Well, this is... Yeah, we're kind of stuck in the middle. Well, look at you two. My girl! Dr. Lots Huff and self-righteous over there. Wait, do you? What's up, sexy lady? Please help oh, us. finally someone that we can trust! Yes. You gotta help us out here. Otherwise, these two are gonna start fighting again. Yeah, I mean, look at these sure two. looks that way. Two giants from the academia duking it out once and for all. Not something you get to see every day, that's for sure. Sure, we Listen, just bring out the popcorn. No you academic types love to fill up your big brains with self-righteous morality and lord your empty rules and virtues over each other. But how dare you bring your petty disputes into the safe haven of Aru Village? It seems like someone's gonna have to beat some sense into your thick skulls until you finally learn to respect these grounds. <laughs> Looks like you guys are not happy. <sighs> Well, so much for that help. Hey, did either of you hear a word I just said? Oh dear. Thank you, Venti! What's going on? The wind's so strong! Is this a sandstorm? Paimon's gonna get blown away! Oh dear, not again. Another sandstorm? What's up with these recently? 
above you, over here, quickly. We have to take cover. Someone's calling for us. Oh, this wind is too strong. Let's get over there. Let's go. That sounded like Candace. Candace? Uh, come oh yeah, on, I remember you her. Jeez, are all of you academia folks such hard work? Move it. Yes. All right. And then you guys get a boom. <laughs> Home for you too. Here we go. Then you guys get to kiss. Actually, never mind. People are already shipping all hidden with someone else. <laughs> she got a ruby too. Be just a little sparkle. This <laughs> is too funny. So not. God damn it. Oh, <laughs> oh this silence. Well, this is pretty awkward. Yes, it is. Hey, wanna play sardines with three people who wanna tear each other limb from limb? <laughs> sure, why not? Sounds fun. <laughs> oh, dear. So thick and heavy. I'm not gonna hardly keep floating anymore. Oh dear, Primal. Nice and it's okay. Apologies, everyone. Oh this my is the god. Home of our village chief. I will have to ask you to make do with this small room until the sandstorm dies down. Can I get another room? Another without these two? Please. Also, this girl. I remember having her at my party on my PS4. Oh, I hope I can, I can have, can join me again. Please, let me introduce myself. I am Candace, protector of Aru Village. Ah, our savior has come at last! Nice to meet you, Candace. The name's Paimon. Thank you so much for helping us. Yes, thank you. <laughs> There's no need to thank me. It's only no, right to help each other when the weather gets rough. Cleopter. Wow, she's so gentle and caring. Like a nice older sister. I'm like, yes, she is. Over there. All right. Now that we're all better acquainted, we should return to the topic at hand. Yes, you do. As a guardian charged with the responsibility to protect my fellow villagers from harm, I was observing your conflict from afar, even before the sandstorm started. Oh? So you saw that I didn't find it. Within our village itself. It is all the more my responsibility to make absolutely sure that you pose no threat whatsoever to us. Well, I don't. I'm nice. So please, have an honest and sincere conversation with one another, and put your hostile feelings to rest. If anyone dares to start anything again while they are under this roof, I will not hesitate to send them out for some quality time with the creatures of the Sandstorm. You don't have to worry about oh. that. On second thought, Paima may have misjudged Candace's character. <laughs> no, he did not. She's just like a big sister. And that goes for you too, Miss Dia. <laughs> She's in trouble. <sighs> Alright, we got it, Candace. <laughs> That's what I like to hear. So, which of you will begin? I was supposed to be a mediator, but uh, I might have gotten a little too involved just now. Some mediator anyway, you one are. one of those two should probably start talking. Wait, that was you trying to be a mediator? <laughs> yes. <sighs> you, we need a new I job have with nothing that. to hide, so well, there's no shame mind, in explaining myself. Do that. While all Haytham wasn't wrong about the other Matra not knowing my whereabouts, it's not because I've been assigned a morally dubious mission. Oh? Rather... I've chosen to exile myself. Pardon? Huh? Exile yourself? A little while ago, I discovered that there was data missing in the Academia's project planning and development files. What little they did report clearly did not match the project's actual progress. As General Mahamatra, I had the responsibility and authority to request an audit. However, to my surprise, the person responsible for the erroneous data was none other than Grand Sage Azar himself. I tried to investigate the issue myself before submitting a formal audit request, 
but I soon found that all leads and potential pieces of incriminating evidence were carefully concealed from me. I began to realize that they were cautious of me from the very beginning. Unsurprisingly, the Grand Sage rejected my audit request as soon as the submission reached his desk. He even said to me, The power of the General Mahamatra is granted by the Sages. You have no right to judge us. Hmm. So they really are up to no good. It seems like it. I realized then that to the Grand Sage, the Matra are nothing more than tools for the Sages to assert and maintain their control over knowledge. The vows that we took, the principles that we strive to uphold, they are meaningless to the academia of today. Interesting. Are you gonna join us? I believed it would be wise to flee the academia before the sages had a chance to take action against me. This way, they can no longer see nor predict my actions. Are you I will sure never about that? give up on this investigation. There's no need for someone else to give me power or authority. Once I find the truth, I will administer judgment by my own name. That's good at all. Seems to have the same goal as us. We're all investigating the sages. Yes, we all get in this. Come on, let's play things. Plus, no longer the General Mahamatra, he somehow feels a lot less scary. <laughs> Are you sure about that? Well, Sino. If that's your story, then why did you see I'll hate them as a target? Yes, why the hell are you attacking him? When I was investigating the matter in the academia, I overheard a conversation between all Haytham and a sage. Oh? The sages asked you to investigate a blonde-haired traveler. Do you dispute this, all Haytham? Oh... Uh, what?! Like what many parts of the project, this assignment was undocumented. Now throw in your suspicious behavior with the Divine Knowledge Capsule, and I think we deserve an explanation. Hmm. Hmm. Yes. I was indeed tasked with investigating the Traveler. I'll hate them! You traitor! After you, all, your sexy muscle. the promised reward was so great that hardly any scholar could have refused. The Sage told me, once you've completed this assignment, I can give you a glimpse of divine knowledge. Huh. A most enticing offer. Yes, it is. Unfortunately, those academics don't know me at all. Their words contained one key piece of information. Namely, that divine knowledge indeed exists. That gave me all I needed to know. From my huh. perspective, the sages are far from trustworthy. Think about it. Isn't it a little strange they're so willing to share divine knowledge with anyone, even as a reward? So, it I began my it. own investigation following the lead of the divine knowledge capsule. In the end, I realized my wisdom in committing to this rather than collaborating with the sages. Had I been less guarded, I probably would have ended up like that Ainul Ahmar mercenary, incapable of remaining sane for plan. long enough to hold a conversation. You mean... That the sages originally planned to dispose of you, using one of those capsules that drive people insane? I'd already given up on the assignment by then. I only told the Academia I was waiting in Port Ormos for you to appear so they wouldn't suspect anything. Does so that make it came sense? as quite a surprise when I encountered my erstwhile target while investigating the Divine Knowledge <laughs> Capsule. <laughs> the Criminals do to love in. to talk about coincidences. Even though I ran into the Traveler by chance, I had no intention of providing assistance to the Academia. Also, you should remember, you were the ones who decided to follow me and strike up a conversation after I left that tavern. That's true. I'll hate them helped us out at Caravan Rebot as well. Maybe he's telling the truth. Yeah, they didn't to apologize, but... if that's worth anything to you. I took the yeah. Divine Knowledge Capsule behind your back because I judged its existence to be a significant risk. I felt that it would be best for no one to interact with it before it had been properly studied. <laughs> After all, curiosity often proves to be the most dangerous thing in this land. That is true. You know what they say. Cry curious. <laughs> 
Fuck, I cannot say the fucking line. Resident Evil killed a cat? Fuck. Uh, I was doing so fine. You should be well aware, Scribe Al Haytham, that curiosity can also lead you to danger and suspicion. Answer me this. Did the sages share any information about their project with you? Have I not made myself clear? You and I are both distrusted by the Academia. Do you really think they would tell me anything? Fine. Although you haven't completely proven your innocence, I won't regard you as an enemy. For now. <laughs> as you wish. Mm -hmm. Good. I'm glad to see you two clearing up your misunderstandings. And now you, Dia. I believe it's your turn. <laughs> yes, what? Oh, What's your sorry. story? Whatever the boys were talking about must have been so boring that I spaced out. <laughs> <clears throat> My situation is pretty straightforward. My employer, Dunyarzad of the Homiyani family, is friends with the Traveler and is currently recovering from her illness at home. I had nothing going on, so I decided to return to Aru Village for a visit. I was actually looking forward to a pretty exciting time getting back together with everyone here. But then I saw these two random guys in the middle of a pointless argument. It take me off, and things went downhill from there. Downhill they went. Well, I will admit that definitely sounds like your style. In that case, welcome back, dear. That's more oh, like dear. it. I missed you all so much, Candace. Oh, sweet. What the fuck just happened? Whoa! What was that sound? No need to worry. Now that you're no longer at each other's That sounds like a monster please make of a horror game. I'll take a quick trip outside to clear out some of those creatures in the sandstorm. C creatures In the sandstorm? Uh, are you sure you don't want some backup? Fighting in a sandstorm is not for the faint-hearted. Anyone without extensive training in these conditions is at a disadvantage. You needn't worry. Whatever you say. Yeah, just leave him to Candace. <laughs> Don't worry, she's as tough as they come. <laughs> oh. Doing it again. The died down. That means the sandstorm's over, right? I guess it is. Candace still isn't back yet, though. Is she alright? Maybe we should go out and check on her. When you put it that way, even I'm starting to feel a little worried. Alright, let's go. We've been here long enough, and the boys are as chatty as the floor. <laughs> yes. So lovely these guys are. Oh my goodness, is there anything else here? Hmm. Nope. Oh shit, I just realized. Fuck, hold on. Oh, we did you. My goodness, I freak out every time in the time is gone. I hear the voice of fate, speaking my name in humble supplication. Good for you, Fischl. <laughs> now then. Let's see. Oh, there she is. Damn, Candace. Oh dear. Oh, Candace, you're still fighting? You've been out here dealing with these creatures the entire time? Holy shit. Yes. They just keep coming in waves. I've lost count of how many I've defeated. Before I realized it, even the sandstorm had stopped. Hey, here comes another wave! God damn it. <laughs> Leave this round to us. I got interrupted earlier, but now I have something to take my anger out on. <laughs> oh dear. It's been quite a while since I've seen the flame main in action. I'll leave these to you then. Yes, go for it. I'll be sure to put on a good show. <laughs> Let's go! You got it. By royal decree! <laughs> go, Barbara, go! Here comes another wave! 
Again? There you go. Is it over? The creature stopped appearing. Was that I the hate last this guy. What we fought just now was probably the aftermath of the sandstorm. So we should be safe for the time being. So that's good. Well fought, everyone. No injuries, I hope. Hello? Who's that? Huh? Who are you? Ah, my apologies. I haven't had a chance to greet you yet. I had my hands full taking care of the village's elderly and children. I am the chief of Aru village. Everyone usually calls me Uncle Anpu. Ah, Uncle Anpu. Sorry for all the trouble. Sir, I am also originally from the desert, but I have not been back for some time now. May I ask if such sandstorms are common? I can't say they've always been common, uh, but recently the storms have become increasingly severe and frequent. Besides yeah, that's sandstorms, we also occasionally get earthquakes. Uh, according to an investigator who stayed in the village a while ago, these unusual natural phenomena are related to the withering of Ermensol. Hmm. Another effect of Ermensol's withering. Seems like so, it. Ermensol's withering causes withering zones in the forest, and sandstorms and earthquakes here in the desert? Everything in the natural world is inextricably connected to Ermensol. These regional symptoms can indeed be a reflection of Ermensol's present state. <sighs> Everyone in our village good. needs to take good care of themselves. Uh, speaking of which, why haven't I seen a single village keeper since I got here? Village keeper? Who are they? Village guards like Candace? Does your curiosity know no bounds? Village Keeper is how Aru Village refers to mad scholars exiled here by the Academia. What? Most of them are scholars who lost their sanity after a period of training in the Avidia Forest. The Academia believes that their crazed mutterings may have a negative effect on the psyches of other scholars. So, they're forcibly exiled to the desert. Though if you ask me, it's all a boatload of nonsense. Alas, that's exactly what we've been trying to investigate. One by one, the village keepers have been mysteriously disappearing without a trace. That is just but weird. No the village what the hell is going on? Seen them leave. If you're planning to stay around the village for the next few days, I'd appreciate it if you could keep an eye out for them. Sure. I've had encounters with those people in the past. I'll see what I can do to help. The Matra are the ones responsible for their exile. Now that you're no longer with them, are you trying to alleviate your guilt and atone for your past sins? <laughs> I'm fascinated by how you think. Mock me if you will, but if you are guilty, I will eliminate you, regardless of my position or identity. Oh, Damn, you're this the guy's... former General Mahamatra. You must be an expert in these kinds of investigations. Thank you for your help. I'll help, dude. Is it because you're reminded of Hypatia? Oh, these poor scholars. First they lose their sanity, now this! We need to help get them back home, safe and sound! It is horrible. But, uh, is it really a good idea to tag along with Sino? You seem like you really don't trust him. I'll be grateful for the assistance. No doubt you will do a better job than some of my former subordinates. Oh, Let's trust me, I'm going to be good. to share what we know so far. Sure, let's share what we know. <laughs> Which I don't know much. Here we go, healing up. So where do we want me to go? Alright, over there. We also have the quests here. I should also try to complete some other quests. We do have a lot of quests going on. 
Okay, here we go. 